Let's say you're taking skydiving lessons. It's unlikely that most of your questions will focus on how you get on the plane. Let's face it, when you're plummeting to earth at more than 100 miles an hour, you're going to have other issues on your mind. Likewise for doing business in a place like China. It's important to know what questions to ask and which risks deserve your attention. My name is Dan Joseph. I'm with PNC's International Advisory Group. We provide advice and support to PNC clients as they do business overseas, with a particular focus on the emerging markets of Asia, where there's a lot of growth, but also a lot of challenges. So often when I'm speaking to companies about their strategy for China, initially the conversation will focus on what I call the basic how-tos. How do I start a company? How do I find an agent? How do I open a bank account? These are important questions, don't get me wrong. In fact, at PNC, we help clients answer these questions. But these are not the issues that will slow you down or knock you off track in China. In the over 20 years I've been doing business in China and helping foreign companies do business in China, I've come to find that there are three major issues that can really knock you off track in China. The wrong strategy, the wrong partner, and poor management. And if a company has challenges in these areas, more often than not, it's because they've failed to adequately adjust to the local conditions in China. And by that I mean how the operating environment in China differs from that in the United States. So when we talk about operating environment, we can break it down into three categories. First of all, the economic structure. In China, that mainly has to do with the fact that China is transitioning from being a centrally planned communist economy to a free market oriented capitalist economy. And this transition is being uh, un rolled out unevenly uh, across different sectors and different regions within the country. So this can have profound implication on how you do business in China. Secondly would be the business environment. And by business environment there are many aspects, but probably the most important would be the rule of law and the role of government in China, which is very different from what we're used to here in the United States. And the third aspect of how local conditions in China differ from those in the United States would be the culture. Again, a very broad topic that can have very broad ramifications in your business strategy in China on everything from management to how consumers and customers and buyers make decisions. There are no shortage of examples of how companies have struggled with these particular challenges. Everything from the large, high-profile, consumer-oriented company that entered China in the mid-2000s and then exited abruptly three years later, having failed to take into account how cultural factors impact the way consumers make decisions in China versus the United States, all the way to companies of all sizes, big and small, who report that in China their number one challenge is management the most visible manifestation of which is high turnover rates, particularly at the managing level, that can impact everyone. I'm talking about you know, four general managers in six years, three general managers in three years, two general managers in a year, and the second general manager may have helped himself to some of the company's money. These are the kind of the stories that you hear all the time as companies try to adjust to the local conditions in China. Now, I don't want to scare you. It's not all doom and gloom in China. In fact, to the contrary, surveys consistently reveal that 80 to 85 percent of foreign companies in China are profitable and a similar number are optimistic about the future of their businesses in China. So China is very doable. But you have to be cognizant of the adjustments that you have to make to succeed there. I like to compare it to how a golfer uh, approaches a new course. Uh, a professional golfer takes the same clubs and prepares to swing the same way in any tournament he's in. But when entering a new tournament or playing in a new course, no professional golfer would do so without playing a couple of practice rounds. It's important to understand how the greens are playing, how the fairway is playing. On a particular hole, do you lay up or do you go for the green? Do you play above the hole or below the hole? Quite often, knowing the answers to these questions is the difference between being minus two and on the leader's board or plus eight and not making the cut. Similar to your approach to China. Everything that you do in your business, everything that you know about business is most likely going to serve you well in China. You can use it. However, you might have to adjust it slightly. Maybe the pace at which you implement it. Maybe just a slight tweak here or there to make sure that it fits in with the local conditions in China. If you have all, take all of your skills and strengths, you take them to China and you understand how to modify them, you're most likely going to be one of those 80 to 85 percent of companies who are very successful in China. If you have questions about how to approach doing business in China, whether it's a basic how-to, a more complicated how-to, or desire to better understand the local conditions so you can succeed, please contact me using the information on the next screen. Thank you for your time and attention.